you know, I immediately was saying Rick Rubin. So the initial conversation for Rick was met him, and I'm pretty sure we met him in his dorm room. You'd have to ask Rick. Now, how do you track him down to his dorm room? You didn't, how did you get his address? I mean, that's telexes or whatever. Anyway, whatever the technology was, but needless to say, we got hold of Rick, and we sat with him. I remember him playing a video of Blue Cheer. He said, "Oh, you want to make music like this?" Both Billy and I were sitting there going, "Really? We can do this?" <laughs> so we were left with Rick for a couple of weeks maybe even like six weeks, to remix the album. And Rick said, the caveat is I have to re-record two tracks. And pretty much straight away, Rick's like, let's try this one. I said, but we're not supposed to be doing that. And he goes, let's just give it a go. We were like, okay, cool. The next thing we know, we were recording the entire album. And the management came over and we said, sit down. We were re-recording the album. And they said, what? They were freaking out. I said, whoa, 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 wait. Let, let, let us play it for you. So we played it for them and they were like, wow, this is, this is powerful, it's dope. So... They said, finish it. 